Ladies and gentlemen, I am here in Paris, France with someone who needs no introduction, like literally needs no introduction. This is the tomb of Napoleon, and this is in the middle of a huge church. He is actually surrounded by 12 guardians, if you can catch the symbolism there that the angels are here watching over him. I should get a look at the church in just a second that's right around here. We're in the church, but the actual altar. But one thing you'll note about the tomb as I'm going through it is there's not going to be a name on the tomb, okay? And the thing is that they had an argument. Do we bury him as Napoleon Bonaparte, private citizen? Or do we bury him as Napoleon, the emperor? And that dispute was so unsolvable that they decided that they would entomb him with no name. And that's pretty amazing to me that you think about a guy that died about 200 years ago and we still don't need, nobody asks, who is that? You know, there are so many places you go, you see somebody's last name or something like that and you ask, what did this person do? What was significant about this person? Who was that again? And it's it's just to me so amazing that you know not only is there not a name here but there doesn't have to be and let's see there is the altar up there my lord jesus christ is watching over the tomb of napoleon now although we don't have a name there we do see that there he is look at that Unless, now actually, this could be Napoleon II, the king of Rome. So, I'll have to look that up. Is he Napoleon or does he just look like his daddy? All right, so we're going we're gonna to take a look at all that. But that is an interesting tomb there as well. But ladies and gentlemen, if you want to think about your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, then think about where do you want to be in 200 years? And that is the big question. Ladies and gentlemen, be inspired. It's the best thing that history offers us. Always a pleasure.